In this video, we're talking about iPhone lenses, a super inexpensive way of getting creative with your shots and of really unlocking the full potential of our iPhone camera. Let's get into it. What's going on everybody, it's Matt from Matt's Media. I don't even know if this company exists anymore. Obviously not sponsored or affiliated. It comes in a pack of four. Now, before we get into that, why would you do lenses? So essentially what external lenses do is they give you different focal lengths for your iPhone camera. If you're like me and you have an older phone, the thing only has one lens. Yeah, they still make phones with one lens. And so I feel quite limited in what I can shoot with this thing, okay? The focal length is stuck at like 20 millimeters or 28 millimeters, and if you don't know what a focal length is, let me know and I can answer that in the comments. But there's super generic lenses, you can find them for 45 bucks on Amazon. There's two different ways that you can mount these lenses onto your iPhone. It's quite easy, so let's break it down. There's two different ways of attaching these lenses. One is this clip-on method thing, super simple, super fast. If you want something a little more stable though, say your follow cam or something, you don't want the lens flying off. There's a clamp on vice grip type system here that also works super well. Let's break each of these lenses down though. So what we got here, we have a 135 degree angle wide lens. You want to capture as much as possible. Let's see how it mounts on. Essentially, you just screw the lens on like so. Kind of cool. And then you just quite literally line it up with the lens of the camera. And Bob is your uncle. Pretty cool. Next lens that we have here is the two times zoom. So basically it's a zoom lens. Essentially what this is is optical zoom. What do we got? Ooh, a 198 degree fisheye lens. This is like GoPro type of wide, like huge wide. I won't be using this lens probably at all, but it's cool if they give you that option. Last lens that we got here is it's a 20 times macro lens. Macro, as the name suggests, gives you the opportunity to get super close to something and get it really nice and focused. Keeping them clean is tough. Other than that, they all work great. And if you want to learn the one method that I use to stabilize my iPhone super cheap, then check out this next video. I think you'll find it valuable. Peace out.